Well, I'm going to attempt to solder some batteries together, non-tabbed batteries. Of course, it's always nice to buy tabbed batteries if you're going to put a battery pack together. The problem is you, you're really limited in tabbed batteries as to the quality and uh, availability of tabbed batteries. You can only get one or two, you know, brands usually. Now, I've got a round file, which I can't find right now. It's perfect for this job. A big rusty round file. I'm going to attempt to do it with this file, which isn't really aggressive enough. It's best to have a real aggressive, they call them bastard files. I have a round bastard file, which is rusty and nasty, and it's great at this. I'm going to try it with this plain old file. Eh, it's not very good. But you'll never get soldered to stick to the bare ends of these. You need you need to rough them up with a file. But you'll have very poor luck trying to solder to the uh, the smooth surface of these batteries. You know they're smooth on purpose. They don't want to uh, pick up corrosion and all that crud. Uh, so they have a nice shiny. Um, I don't know if it's a nickel chrome or what kind of uh, coating is on them. This is a uh, flux pen. I don't know if it's going to be generous enough, but I'll get a little flux on there. Again, I've uh, gone over these terminals with a file, roughed them up, and um, Put some flux on them. Probably a little excessive in the flux, actually. A little solder to get the heat traveling. Then I'll wait till it gets hot enough where I can actually melt the solder with my. That's what I'm soldering to. There it goes. It's good enough. Old batteries that I'm trying to replace. The wires I just removed are already tinned. So I'm just going to get this cap tinned. Should go pretty quick. Yeah, this is when you wish you had three hands. Sometimes I'll just fake it like this. Same deal, I'll prime it. I'll tin it, I should say. I don't want to keep heating this river though, I want to get that in there quickly. Quickly and done. My camera will focus on this mess. And so, not too pretty, but um, the main ugliness is I have to. Uh, cut out the plastic supports that held the batteries in place because they're just a hint longer um, you'll run to this a lot when you're replacing tabbed batteries uh, with untabbed batteries As the untabbed batteries are a little bit longer the tabbed batteries don't have that bump on top on the positive contact and they'll just have a flat tab coming off it makes the whole battery you know a millimeter or two shorter and consequently they don't really fit right. Even though the body of the battery was a true double A, which sometimes you'll run into that too, where the battery isn't quite a the size you're replacing it with. You know, there's a, especially in C's, there's like two third length C's and uh, and even full C's, you know, aren't, with the tabs aren't the same. But uh, in double A's, C's, whatever. So the solution here is just to uh, hot glue it in, you know. And it works. I've got some high brightness LEDs. I'm tempted to change a couple of these out while I get this thing apart just to see if it makes any difference. Maybe I'll do two of them. Let's see. 
But I need my other setting iron for that. I ain't gonna tr try to do that with a big old iron, a big old gun rather. This is only for brutal, heavy handed work like soldering batteries. And the finished project, my solar flashlight is back in gear with some fresh batteries. They're way better than the original batteries. Um, they're very high capacity, low drain batteries. And I did replace the two uh, middle LEDs. And uh, I can't really show you here, I don't think. But the middle two are quite a bit brighter. Um, in a real life test. You can only see really the two <laughs> in the light on the table there. But anyways, two, two Cree LEDs and the other four are still the original Chinese. But high capacity batteries, solar flashlight back in use. I've had this about 10 years. So batteries dying isn't too premature.